Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Alex Musao, and I'll be taking you through chemistry form 2. Our lesson number is 27. Our topic is structure and body. Our subtopic is covalent bonds. The objective of this lesson are to explain how covalent bonds are formed, and number two, to draw and name various structure with covalent bonds. Covalent bonds. This is a bond form when atoms share electrons. Consider, for example, atoms of nonmetals combined. It is important to realize that the combining atoms could be of the same elements or different elements. Let's say, consider two atoms of hydrogen molecule, hydrogen atoms. When they combine, they form a hydrogen molecule. Each hydrogen atom has only one electron in its occupied energy level. It therefore needs to gain one electron to attain the stable electronic ar arrangement of two helium duplet state. So, hydrogen atom combines with hydrogen atom to form a hydrogen molecule. And what is a molecule? A molecule is a group of atoms, two or more of the same or different elements that are held together by strong covalent bonds. As you can see there, we have water molecule. And water molecule, the, the, the bond that is in between oxygen and hydrogen, water exists as a molecule. And it is made up of two atoms of, of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen, H2O. And in between oxygen and hydrogen atoms, there is a bond, which is covalent bond. And in between hydrogen and oxygen, there are weak hydrogen bonds. Next we have chlorine molecules. As you can see, chlorine molecule, a chlorine exists as a molecule, and it has two electrons that are Share. Each chlorine molecule donates one electron to each chloride molecule, chloride atom, and so that they can attain the octet rule. Another substance that has covalent bonds is ammonia. Ammonia molecule has covalent bonds between the hydrogen, the three hydrogen atoms, and the nitrogen atom. Another substance that has covalent bond is carbon for oxide molecule. As you can see, the carbon for oxide molecule has covalent bonds. The oxygen, one oxygen atom donates two atoms, two electrons, and the carbon atom donates two electrons. So in, a, in one oxygen atom, the carbon atom is going to share four electrons. They're going to share four electrons with the other also with the other oxygen atom they're going to share four electrons so carbon four oxide exists as a molecule which has covalent bond between oxygen and carbon atoms there's one thing we notice about covalent bonds it's mainly between gases the next is coordinate bonds Coordinate bond is a type of covalent bond in which the shared pair of electrons forming the bond is contributed by only one of the atoms forming the bond. Examples are carbon 2 oxide has co coordinate bonds, also known as dative bond. The carbon atom has four valence electrons and therefore needs to gain four electrons to fill its outermost energy level. Oxygen, on the other hand, has six valence electrons and needs two electrons to attain the stable configuration of 2,8. The oxygen atom and the carbon atom in carbon-2 oxide form two covalent bonds and a coordinate bond. Oxygen donates one of its two unshared pairs of electrons, as you can see from the diagram, to form a coordinate bond. Substances which have covalent bonds have either molecular or giant atomic structure. Molecular structures. Most substances 
uh, with molecular structure are gases or liquid at room temperature. Some substances like sulfur, sugar, iodine, fats, paraffin, and naphthalene. The atoms forming the molecules are held together by strong covalent bonds. For example, water exists in form of a molecule and it is held up with strong covalent bonds. But in between the hydrogen and oxygen, there are some intermolecular forces which are known as weak hydrogen bonds. The hydrogen bond is an intermolecular force in which the electropositive hydrogen atom of one molecule is, a, is attracted to an electronegative atom of another molecule, as you can see there. What are the properties of covalent substances with molecular structures? Number one, <coughs> they are like solubility in water. They are soluble in water. Most of them are soluble in water, but naphthalene, iodine, and sulfur are not soluble in water. They have a high molecular mass, and it decreases as you go down to water. It decreases in their molecular mass. They are poor conductors of electricity. Most of them are pure, poor conductors of electricity. They have a low melting and boiling point. And that is the end of our lesson. Question, what is hydrogen bond? Number two, list two compounds with dative covalent bonds. Our reference book is KLB Book 2, 5th edition, 2019. For more information, contact us on our phone number, YouTube, Elimu TV, Facebook, Elimu TV, Twitter, Elimu TV underscore K. Thank you for watching Elimu TV. Stay tuned.